Out of 37,441 full-time candidates who registered for grade 10 examination this year, 17,123 did not qualify for admission to grade 11. Oshikuku Constituency Councillor Modestus Amute is of the opinion that with the already high unemployment rate among young people, the situation could be filled further if such learners do not find their way back to formal education or vocational education training. And through this we believe we can do better than just waiting for everybody to be an employee of the government of the Republic of Namibia. So uh, some of them do understand, but the challenging situation is also the, uh, the, the lack of uh, vocational training facilities in our region. So therefore, we, it will be actually ideal if we can uh, enlarge the only existing one at Nakayale, which is in Autapi, our head, uh, capital headquarter, to be able to accommodate more youth and to consider at least establishing more uh, vocational training centers. Through vocational education, he believes graduates can become self-employed. However, access to and expansion of electricity is another development factor that needs to be addressed as some of the businesses would require electricity to operate. My challenge is to ensure that one day Osingera is electrified. At least a pyre is electrified. But then I have a hundi also that I want to see electrified. Uh, and if I have to add the fourth place, for now, uh, it should be Okantaya's uh, growth point. Now, I'm supporting electricity to these areas because that's when you can take development to where people are. And that is when we can keep people where they are because there is development. Otherwise, people will come to town areas to look for development. Amute mentioned that because of lack of electricity in most parts of the region, a number of sewing machines donated by the Ministry of Industrialization, Trade and SME Development that were meant for SME empowerment are gathering dust.